And now it's time for Talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Good morning, Joe. The Heat losing some spice late in the game. They blow that 18-point lead and get crushed in that ugly fourth quarter against OKC. And this was quite a meltdown, I'm going to say that. So what went wrong here? Well, let's get into the star. That nice 18-point lead. They really wanted to play well in this game against Oklahoma City. Really, last time before the playoffs, a lot of guys were probably going to play. So they wanted to get a little something going. Got off to a great start. Looked fantastic. And then, I don't know, Bianca, who that team that played in the fourth quarter was. They got outscored by 27 points. They scored 12. Looked like they were pouting a little bit because they weren't getting calls. Oklahoma City was getting all the calls. But bottom line is they got outplayed. Didn't finish the way they wanted to. But it kind of worked out. There are a lot of people going to be excited about this because they want them to finish in that seventh spot, which, by the way, is not done yet. Still one in game, and they could still be in the sixth, seventh, or eighth positions. But as of right now in that seventh spot, which means they would play Boston, who is injured, got a lot of their star players out for the playoffs. And so probably a good first-round matchup, yeah, if they could stay there. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So you're saying, you know, obviously they moved to that seventh seed in the Eastern Conference. But just break down a bit more about why this is going to be good for them and why people are thinking that loss is not necessarily a bad thing. Well, I happen to be, and I know a lot of people disagree. They want best matchups, best way to move on. And But I want to be playing great basketball. No matter what the sport is, you want to be playing well at the end of the season. And right now, the Heat aren't doing that. That's not great basketball, what we saw last night, especially in that fourth quarter. But matchup-wise, if there's a team the way they are playing right now, and you look at the top seeds, uh, Toronto playing much better than Boston right now. So if you can get a two versus seven, you've got a chance. If you play like that team that played early last night, that team, you'll have a chance to beat the Boston Celtics in the first round of the NBA playoffs. Boston is really banged up. It's not the same team. Kyrie Irving's not playing. He's out for the playoffs. You got a chance to beat them. Well, you got to win by any way possible, Joe. Always good talking to you. We'll talk to you in the next half hour. That's right.